How about this friction thing? As you can see from the model, there is a little bit of a minus sign in front of friction. And, you know, it's because it pulls away from whatever makes me want to convert. So in terms of a web entity, it's about like slow loading times, complicated forms, you know, things just not working right. Uh, it's about you having messy copy, not being able to describe the value proposition or incentive. It's about, you know, everything that makes me, you know, oh, it will take a lot of time to do this, right? Friction is about everything stopping me from reaching the actual um, place where you want me to be. So if you want me to share something, friction can be that you've posted your video on a video platform that I don't recognize. It's much better to put it on a video platform that I do recognize because I know what button to press in order to share. It's about you being sloppy in your headlines. So I don't know, you know, like, what is this video about? This is stopping me even watching the video. It's about those small little things. Like if you have a checkout system on an on a, on a e-commerce website, friction is everything that makes me, you know, think twice. Like you have different size photos, you have, you know, an unstructured price summary page, you know, all of those things, that's friction to me. Get, you know, I have to take more time to complete this conversion. And so your job is really limiting all those friction points, removing as many as possible of them for me to not have to think. In terms of thinking fast and thinking slow, I should never have to activate my system too. I should only be thinking about, oh, I'm used to doing this. This is a nice flow. Things are happening fast. So that's about friction. It's the stuff that forces us to think, stops me doing this fast. You should try to remove as, as much as possible of that. So that's all I have to say about friction for now.